Good morning, everyone. Well, at least it's morning for me when I'm recording this, but um, maybe it'll be the afternoon by the time I release it. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to um, try out the Anna Griffin Simply Thankful Easel Card Making Kit. This was an auto ship, so the first one, I believe, was the birthday um, kit, which is on HSN. This one has not gone to the site yet, but um, I will link the birthday kit if you're interested. I do have a video on that one already. Um, but yeah, I recently picked this up, so um, whatever I link there, it might be in the shopping bag in the description box, definitely. Um, that is an affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. HSN and Des has free shipping all, all day today, all Sunday. I'll have information on that in the description box also with the expiration, but I believe it's all day today, Saturday. Um, oh my gosh, what day is today? 20 something, 27? I don't even know. <laughs> and then all day Sunday. But again, that'll be uh, in the description box. Hopefully you'll see this video. I'll try to put it in the title so you're aware. Um, I know coming off the craft day sometimes you know forget something or miss something and free shipping is always a great way to go ahead and grab that now a lot of things are still on appreciation price throughout the whole month so that's going to come to an end pretty soon here but um I, I'm definitely checking it out. I will say there's one other thing I picked up. Actually, I picked up a couple of them. The um, Wolfgang Puck Panini Press. It's still on appreciation price. Um, I think it's like less than 30 bucks. Um, I got one for the RV. And um, one for the house, basically. But uh, I do want to try that out for you guys. So hopefully I'll have a moment to do that either today or tomorrow. I know that has nothing to do with this um, here, but I'm just using this as a way of saying, hey, HSN has free shipping, but also to do a quick project. I know it's been a lot of Anna Griffin um, recently, but that's what I ordered the last craft day, so that's what I'm using right now, and with the scrapbooking and all that. So please check out those videos if you're interested. Maybe it'll help you think of how to layer up a card or something. You know, you never know how that inspiration might strike you, but I know a lot of people have been inspired to start their scrapbooks again, so that's really great. But I will link the Wolfgang Puck Panini Press because it looks really nice and hopefully it's great. Any other things, I think only twice I've had something in the past, you know, 15 years where I'm like, uh, oh, that was more of a gimmick than that. I have another Panini Press of his from before and it's really great. So I don't think this one would be any different. The pricing was crazy in my opinion. So Hopefully I'll get a chance to maybe go out to the RV and make a tutorial on that one, or a review, should I say. Alright guys, well let's just get right to it. I already did an unboxing of this, I believe, whenever I received it. Um, and when I say received, I mean like it arrived at my door. It's not um, a sample or whatever. I bought this myself, you know, like I said, on the auto ship. But I believe I went through everything. So it is 10 cards. And I will say, I think the birthday kit is like around 40 some odd dollars, 42 or so. And so, I mean, that's like $4 a card that you're hand making. So a little high, a little high. <laughs> so this being on auto ship, it might've been a little bit lower than that, I hope. But we have um, two card bases of each of these colorways. We have all these beautiful things. I really do like the papers that are in this. They're really pretty. They're, the pops of like that fuchsia are really gorgeous. So, you know, you just pick a base, you pick what piece you want to go with it. Now me, I'm more matchy-matchy, like if I had this, I would want this all to also be the same, but, you know, if you want something different, I will say these guys, when you open them up, that's the back of it, handmade by, and you're going to turn this this way, and then add your card pieces. So, you know, like I said, I generally like to match it. Let's see what the images look like. This is going to be a pretty quick video because these things, I think she mentioned in the, um, when she first showed them that she is using different backgrounds though. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Or maybe something like this. This one looks the same. Um, that you can use at four embellishments, I believe, per card. So that must mean there's like at least 48 embellishments. Uh, I don't know if she includes that being the sentiment itself. And then, of course, your stopper because it's an easel card, right? So that's what's really nice about these guys. Yeah, she's using different ones. Sometimes it's the coordinating one. I really like this one. So let's go with that um, card base. Hopefully my kids will stay asleep. I already made, you guys, a Spellbinders video for the club kits. I made a scrapbook page layout. And now I'm making this all in the morning that I woke up at 6 o'clock. So <laughs> um, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go with the pink. I really like this. But again, we'll do some mix and matching. So again, it was like this. You're going to turn it over. I do love that this doesn't have anything on the inside. So you can really change it up if you don't want it to be a thank you card. You know, whatever other embellishment or um what's the word oh you know what oh yeah there's um not embellishment but um 
sentiment you have that can finish that off would be great. Okay, so we took off the stickiness. I like that it already comes with that. That makes it super easy. I mean, you just don't even have to think about that, so that's really great. Again, the edging is kind of weird. It's just like <laughs> her other easel um, dies for the most part. They're a little bit funky. I'm trying to make it nice and straight. Obviously, I scored it on the line that it had, but it is a little bit crooked, so I'm going to straighten that out and give it a new kind of zhuzhing. I don't know if that even helps, but... Ugh, I feel like that might have made it more crooked. That's weird. It looks crooked, but then down here it's not. I don't know. Just trying to get that a little more straight. Okay. I will say that's funny because I did notice in the presentation that when she did the easel, it was kind of a little funky. So just straighten out that, that uh, score line. I totally forgot to bring these guys out. So pretty. Look at this. I love the sagey colors and like the light blue. Really, really pretty. I mean, I like the hot pink colors right now, especially with having this kind of hot pink pops down here. So let's do the hot pink. Or fuchsia or whatever. She, does she have color names? You know, some companies are like, oh, they have whatever coral. Like, they have certain names for whatever it is that they do. Um, this one still needs something popped out of here. Like sherbet or whatever. Um, it does come with dimensionals. I am going to pop these on here. I know when she showed her example, she just had dimensionals in here. If you want to make it a little more sturdy, maybe you want to put them in these areas too. It's kind of a lot to do. Not really something I want to do right now. But the areas are large enough that I think it can handle it. So maybe just to you know really kind of keep this down, maybe one here at least. Because, you know, when you send something in the mail, it can get squished. So it's good to have a little more support maybe there and there. Especially if you're going to put, obviously, stickers and other things on top of this that are a little chunkier. Let's put one here and one here. Normally I pause and come back, but you know what? I think this video is going to be kind of quick, like I said. So maybe you put some more, but at least you have those guys. Did I already take the... That didn't feel very sticky. Okay. I did take it off. It just didn't feel too sticky. I'm just centering this to try to keep... So I'm just saying, like when you push that down, it would just be free floating. So it's nice to have at least a little more support. It's gonna be something like that. Very good. And then we have our beautiful pack of florals and flourishes all in the same packaging. Again, she said you can have at least four of these things. These are double layered, which is interesting. Usually these kinds of things are not. <laughs> um, purple. Hmm. I don't mind bringing in colors. Like this one's really pretty, but I feel it goes this way. I don't know if there's one that looks like that that goes the other direction. Maybe something more like that. I would like a flat flourish, to be honest, but this is what we have. Um, that flower is really small. What else do we have that's bigger, bigger, bigger? This one. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, hold on. This one's very different, the little leaves on this one. And it kind of goes with this funky leaf that's back here. That's odd. These are very interesting pieces. They're very quirky. Uh, something like that. Okay, that's a good little cluster. Again, these are stickers. Um, you probably already know what I'm going to do, but you know what, maybe I'll leave that like that. I like to just stick glue behind there and then pop it down that way. But this one, this is a funky one, huh? For an Anna Griffin design. I feel like he's quite funky. I'm gonna hold that there, and that's already holding that, which is great, sticking those guys together. And if I don't want something to move, I generally just put glue behind them and stick them down that way. So I'm just putting some glue back here. And I like that. I'm going to hold that down for a minute and I'll pick up the whole thing. So this is going to stick to that. That's sticking this one, holding the rose stem. <laughs> um, and then I'll pick up the whole thing and put some, maybe even just take the carriers off of this. But for right now, I just want this to be one piece like this. See? Okay. And take this guy off. Again, if you're doing what I'm doing, you want to be careful if it's a single layer because you don't want to poke through to the other layer. Generally, that comes up in one piece. There we go. That's how I want to give me a little attitude. 
Yeah, it's kind of funky. I would bring flourishes out of my own kits. I have even dies that do that or just a whole kit of just flourishes. But I want to use what's in the kit. So there we go. I'm not pushing that down yet because I don't even know what I'm doing with this yet. Okay. <laughs> so that's already four pieces there. Um, with gratitude, with many thanks. Again, this really, really beautiful pink. Thank you so much, the green. You are so thoughtful. Ooh, interesting. That's kind of why I didn't put this down yet, because I don't really know how I want this to be tucked. That's cute. I feel like I'm covering up a lot of the cuteness, though. Eh, mm, nope. This isn't actually stuck down, right? No, it kind of has to be in here. Okay, it's going to be something like that. And I'm going to take dimensionals, even though this guy has its own stickiness. So, pop that here. And I'm going to hold that down for a minute. Just making sure everything's staying. And I'll be right back. So I concentrate on everything over here, but I mean, if you want to, you know, whatever. <laughs> off the top, off the bottom, this other side. Maybe a little couple extra flowers over here. I feel like there's a ton of flowers. I mean, if you wanted to, you know, come in. It's very similar to that one, so I probably wouldn't do that. It's a little too matchy-matchy. But if I had another one that curved the way I would want. Oh, we do have some left and rights. Look, I love left and right. You know, this little guy can kind of come in here. That's really cute. He just kind of... Should we do that? Should we do that? I feel like I need something doing that. Okay, if we do that, I don't want too much thickness. You know how I am about that. That is a little higher than what I would want. <laughs> but... And put that there and see if that will hold it down. Oh, come on, buddy. The backing paper doesn't want to come up off of that. That's pretty cute. Okay, let me put some glue, though, too, because obviously that's not going to keep it quite for me. Just getting some glue back there. I'm going to hold that down, and then we'll do um, some of our other our stopper. I guess I could have put some things away while we were checking it out. They're very different, these flowers. Um, we also have bows. Maybe you want to put a little bow in here. Maybe it's a little much. Um, but our stopper is going to be one of these guys. I don't know if I should go with the light pink to bring that light pink back through. Or the fuchsia. They each have, you know... I mean, how pretty. I like mixing and matching the colors, though, so I think that'll be cute. And then this guy here. Cute. Okay. And this is thick enough because it's a double layer also that um, it'll just hold up your card. But if you want to put more flowers in there or maybe the little bow. It is covering up quite a bit there. And then however far back you put this, that's how pitched your card is going to be. I can see that it's a little bit off, a little bit off. No, 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 no. I'm looking left and right to see how much I have here and there. That looks pretty good. Again, generally I wouldn't stick that down until after I've written on it. It is bulky though because <laughs> it's popped up. So you're maybe a felt pen, something where it's just going to a gel pen. Eh, I don't know about a gel pen. I would say something more felt because as you're writing, you don't have to actually push down to get the ink going. But um, you know what I mean? There is that. I mean, we can put a little bow on that guy. Since I hardly ever use the bows because I don't really know how to where to put them. Like this one would be cute in there. I think that's cute. That fits there perfectly adorably. But if we have this guy, maybe we put that there or maybe we put it up here. I think up there is cute. And then of course I would have to be careful with my writing. But let's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down. I'll just have to like push it out of the way. And I'm using a white glue. Um, I know Anna said her dimensionals will hold it too. And that'd be great. I just don't want more dimension underneath here. 
with the knot of a bow, you know? So that's gonna have to dry. But there it is, guys, just a quick card. Again, this one's not quite available there on the site, um, on HSN, but uh, the birthday one is. Again, the birthday one, it's not um, inscribed, so like you can write whatever you want, basically, and just pop out, you know, use a different sticker from your stash. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Again, free shipping all day today, tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and thanks for watching the scrapbooking videos. Again, I haven't been scrapping, scrapbooking in a really long time. I think the last time was at the crop, you know, the last crop. But, but um, I really want to get back to it because, honestly, I haven't even printed pictures. I think nowadays, you know, you're taking pictures with your camera. Um, I'm talking about on your phone, and then you don't get them printed out. And it's a real bummer. I used to always bring my Canon separately to events. And I think the last couple of events the kids have had, I've only had my phone with me. So I need to print what's on my camera. My Canon goes back like a good nine or ten years, the SD card that's in there. It's gonna have a lot of nice memories on there, so gotta get those printed out. Printed out! <laughs> um, somebody asked me where I normally get mine done. If I send them out, it's usually Walmart or like Costco online or whatever. I haven't used Costco in a while because I don't have a Costco card, but my son did get one and he put my name on it, but I haven't been there. But previous to that, or prior to that, I would always just go to Costco. Um, so, nothing special, just wherever they <laughs> will do digital images, you know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will have some images. I'll have the links for the birthday thing, for the Panini Press, if you want to check it out, because I hope to get a video for that either today or tomorrow. Uh, that'll be fun. I was thinking about going to get a steak and putting one in there, but I might just do like a grilled cheese, <laughs> which is normally what goes in there, like sandwiches, uh, here at my house. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.